You know, for most of us, the holidays remind us who we love and who we've lost. And sadly, others will spend the season living their final days. That's where the hospice house comes in, trying to help those people and their families. KTV News Watch Evans, Melissa Fry reports. She was a volunteer over at Newcastle. Right by her side, the last picture Cecilia Volchek took with her husband. He was about to go into hospice. He never made it because they were going to pick him up at 11.30 and he died at 9.30 that morning. That was six years ago, right before Christmas, long before cancer spread through her body. Cecilia put herself in hospice last month. I felt that I came just in time. And I think maybe that's one of the mistakes people make, is they don't do it soon enough. And she's right. Our patients coming on as families, or patients are actively dying. Susan Reinch with the Visiting Nurse Association says they're seeing more and more patients who don't take advantage of the benefits hospice provides. Most families are really wanting to learn about this and, and how to care for their family members. They can go out and about. They can go out for meals. They can go on family outings. All with support from a team of nurses, volunteers, even a chaplain. They work to take the pressure off a patient's family, finding ways to make the moments count. They're available at a phone call if we have a symptom out of control or a need. Is there anything else that you guys need assistance with? Ingrid Van Blurk receives that care in the comfort of her own home. It's like friends coming in when they come and visit. The the there's different things that they need mm -hmm. to use on me. Van Blurk admits she assumed hospice meant giving up. When this guy said to me, have you thought of hospice? I was like, no, I'm not there. What she gained, she says, is quality of life as she's always known it. She's three and he's seven. They look purple here. For Volchek, hospice gave her the chance to complete the work she felt she'd been called to do. And I think it is to pray. As a Catholic, we had the Chapel of the Divine Mercy. I told Cecilia the other day, I said, you know, you're teaching us still. You're teaching us how to care for someone who's sick. You're teaching us, um, you know, grace through illness. A lesson staff will remember in Cecilia Volchek's memory. She passed away two days after this interview, at peace until she went home. Melissa Fry, KETV, Newswatch 7. And doctors suggest hospice care for patients who have six months or less to live. Now, Medicare and most insurance companies do cover the cost.